Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us again. And um, unlike last year, this is going to be a little uh, twist on the information you'll see from me. I really wanted to give everyone a quick snapshot of what's happening in downtown based on our economic recovery deck, which is a statistical update based on hospitality, office, and residential. So you can see what's actually taking place here in downtown. And so as we flip to the, the first slide here, um, 51.5 million square feet of office space in downtown Houston. We know that. Um, you can see in 2020, we did see an increase from 19.6 to 21% um, vacancy. Um, the good news is over the last three months, we have seen about 600,000 square feet in leasing transactions. So things are starting to pick up. Um, so we're very optimistic about that. Um, the, the graph to the right is from the economic recovery deck. And as you can see, what we're doing is asking our buildings to help us understand who's here. And we've asked 26 million square feet of buildings, which is a little over 50% of our total market, how many people are actually coming to the office daily. And right now we're tracking about 16.3% here in downtown. And mind you, we have about 168,000 people that work in downtown. So you can, uh, you can do the quick math. I think it's 25,000-ish. Um, with that, um, you can also see um, that the, the numbers are reflect as of February. So these are fresh off the press as of today. As we dive into some of the things that we're excited about and what we think will help us recover a little bit faster moving forward, and this is the commitment of our development community to continue to build downtown. Um, over the last, since 2016, we've seen six new buildings constructed to include two currently under construction with Texas Tower, um, and that is 1.1 million square feet with Heinz, B&E as their, um, their lead tenant. And then recently announced with Skanska's project, which is 1550 on the green, and that's a 375,000 square foot um, building over near Discovery Green. And so we're really excited to see major developers really bullish on our market. But with that, we've also seen a lot of our current buildings going under renovation. And so we have 22 buildings that have gone under renovation since 2016, totaling 19.3 million square feet, which once again, we think will help with the recovery. Hospitality. We all know hospitality has been hit the worst during COVID. And so this graph is just to show you where we currently sit. We currently sit at 23.6% um, occupancy within the buildings, excuse me, within the hotels. Um, that is significantly down. And we've also seen a shift to a weekend market versus a daytime um, weekday market. But we do have renovations taking place. The Hilton Americas wrapped up their $54 million renovation this last year. We've also seen five renovation projects since 2017. So we're very excited to continue to see the market moving. Residential, um, as you know, the Downtown Living Initiative was very successful, helping to pump a lot of residents into downtown. Um, currently, we're sitting at about 82, 83% occupancy, which is down from a year ago when we were about 88%. But the one thing I'll show you on the right side of this slide is over the last four months, and including the current one, um, we've seen it stabilize. So we're back to about 83. So the dip that we occurred in 2020 has stabilized. And so we're very happy to see that. And we're also seeing new construction. We do have six new projects that have been added since 2017. And we currently have five under construction. And not all of those are downtown living initiative projects. So we're really um, happy to see that the, the validation with that project um, has come to fruition with new re residential construction very quickly transitioning to the innovation ecosystem. As you know, this is a priority of Central Houston in partnership with the Downtown Redevelopment Authority. And you've seen this before, so I won't take a lot of time, but this is really the construction of what we call the, the vertical village. And this is the Northern node of the innovation corridor at Amagee on Main. Our project specifically is the Downtown Launchpad. The Downtown Launchpad is a 17,000 square foot space anchored by two Global recognized accelerators and mass challenge out of Boston, generator out of Madison, Wisconsin, and Impact Hub, um, which is a globally recognized incubator, the largest in the world. And um, a lot of you haven't been able to see this space, but I wanted you to see the footprint. And what's so exciting about this is you can see the boxes of where their headquarters are. All of that open space to the northern side of the screen is 100 plus startups that will be coming through here annually. So 
we're really excited about the infusion of startups and creatives into the downtown economy. Um, and with that, we've already started to see some, some massive impact. Um, this is just year one cohort statistics. And as you can see, at the start of a program, which programs are only four months long, after that, they move out into the rural world. At the start of the, the program, we've had 31 million in funding. By the end of the program, that was 51 million. So we've seen about a 60% increase. The direct jobs, which is where I'm really excited, we've seen about a 22% increase by the end of a program. And then revenue, we've seen a massive increase at 119. So the thing to, to leave with this is, this is year one of a 10 year lease. So as you can imagine what the growth of this will be over the next 10 years, I think we uh, are really excited about this and how we're gonna help transform that, that innovation economy. And with that, I'm going to quickly transition to Brett DeBoer. He is our director of operations and he'll take it away.